Hello. Welcome to the channel. Very Come in. Matalan. No, but then I'm doing an intro in the house and I always are good enough of it. That's good enough. That's that's the intro. That's literally it. No, because that was that was like a, that, that. Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, we are currently in Matalan in the home section looking for some autumn things to decorate the house with. So as we come over this way, we have some nice cream pumpkin wreaths. A bit bare on the top, but that's okay. Yeah, they are a bit bare, aren't they? They are a bit bare. I like I like these. And then as They're we come cool. around here, we have all of these pretty orange berries and a big like pumpkin garland. There seems some, to be a theme. It is, and some pumpkin bedding. <laughs> Evening all. It's the sound of the police. So as we are walking through the Matalan home section, we have found some more autumnal things. So if we turn you around, this is some lovely pumpkin bedding. And it has a lovely tray with a beautiful model. <laughs> and it's got it's double-sided. Oh look. And you thought there was no mushroom <gasps> for more. There's mushroom bedding and it's only £12. What a bargain. That's a bargain. That's a bargain, mate. We have found yet some more autumnal things. I've also found the dog section. That's a bit dangerous. In this tray over here, we have a pumpkin tablecloth. And next to it, we have a nice pumpkin ramekin. Is that what it's called? A ramekin? Yeah. Yeah. No more tea tea oh yeah, the tea towels. A three pack of tea towels for six pounds. Bargain. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's the clear one. I need that. It's, it's the clear. So we saw this somewhere else the other day. Where it's a clear pumpkin jar. And we were thinking to put sugar cubes in it for the kitchen shelf. See look? Ooh, it's a bath towel. There's a bath towel. It's my colour. Go, it goes with your eyes. <laughs> I, I just realised you can't see me blinking. Right, come on, come on here. I want to see the doggy stuff. It's an, oh, that's yourself, not Halloween. Put it in the selfie mode. Yeah, put it in the selfie mode. Yeah, put it in the selfie mode. Walk straight ahead and go walk to your left. Straight ahead and to my left. Yeah, to your left. There's bees. So, we have... Because I know how much you like bees. I do like bees. We have a nice... What's this? A tea towel? Yep. Oh! That's what I was meaning to put there. Wait, I can't hold this. It's very shiny, but it is £3.50 and I feel like I might need this to add to the collection of very random mugs I have in the cupboards. Mainly of bees. Mainly of bees. Look and Thomas Shelby. It's got some more dinner mugs. Oh, so we've got some coasters down here and a nice big green tray. And this is a what's a lap tray? Breakfast in bed. Well, this is a, a lap tray with some beans. For beans? No, with some beans. It's got like squidgy beans in the bottom. Oh, right, and then yes, up so here we have some nice autumnly coloured wine glasses that are ribbed and some ribbed tumblers. As you can see. And it's got a cookie jar. Oh, well, I'd say it's a cookie jar at least. That is a cookie jar. That is an Oreo stackable cookie jar. Some big Oreos can go in there. I do want some big Oreos. Can we visit the doggy stuff? <laughs> it's not very old terminal, but I want to see the dog stuff. So, we have now reached one of my favourite sections. The dog section. Would you like is some? there a wild dog in the dog section? Oof. Would you like some Prosecco? Oh, some Prosecco. I think Gwyn would like some Prosecco. He's he's old enough to have a beer, I think. Yeah, he is. So we've got some nice microfiber pet towels. Oh, look at the beds, are fluffy there. Oh, with some drying mitts, one moment. And then up here we have some fluffy fluffy pet beds for £20. Oh, wait, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not tall enough. There are some old track Gwyn dog beds in green. Rather spiffing. Oh, oh and I like, I like, one sec, 
Oh wait, there's one over there, but I like all of these green colors. Mom, look. Oh, she's gone. And then they've got the drying towel in green and a green, well, a sage green pet bowl to match the autumns. And this is the bed that was up there, but down. It's got a nice gray inside. No removable um, cushion, but that's fine. And then we also have this nice autumn pet bed. Um, one up there, but I'm too short, so it's okay. You know there's a zoom function? Yeah, I'd mess it up, so it's okay. <laughs> There is a dinosaur, dog toy. He looks green, IRL, but he's a bit gray on the camera. Look, he's green. I have no idea what you were doing. Somebody put a ball inside this, so I'm tr just trying to get it out. There we go. So Sorry, it's where it's called a storage jar, my so friend. I can, so I can be a friend. Very cool, very cool. I'm a top clown. We know. Let's take a walk. Hello? Eee. Oh, Mum, look. It's all the... The, um... The nice peg baskets. That's all that I remembered. Oh, and the fancy spoon dish. Just down there. I can't see where I'm filming, so this might be a bit of a junk. But it's okay. Clean. Clean. I'm clean. We got the goods. We got the goods. We do have the goods indeed. We may or may not have paid for them. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, I well we did. did pay for them, we didn't steal them. Well, I paid for them. Sure. You you just you just yeah, you just I put just, stuff I in. Just stand here and look at you. My yeah. Back. Okay. Now, next shop. Where is it? Uh, did you say Wilkinson's? Wilkinson's. Over Wilkinson's. There. Okay. Let's put this in the car first, though. Wilkinson's was a bust. It's all administration stock, so we didn't find anything in there. So we're going to the next shop, which is TK Maxx and Homecats. We are now entering TK Maxx slash Homecats to find some Halloween stuff, which is upstairs. I bought Kira. Actually, my me. favorite thing in the world. It's a froge. It's a frogey. But yeah, it's not actually for Kira. It's a skelly froge. It's actually for me because I absolutely love frogs. Even Kira is terrified of them. But oh, it's velvet. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not a fan of velvet, no, but it's a lot of candles. Oh, it's not nice. Okay. I don't know, maybe not yeah. second smell. Froze the frog. Just, I love this. So in Matalan, we have just refound our favourite autumn vases for decoration. It's like a burnt amber with some very colourful flowers, which is your favourite, isn't it, Mum? Yes. There you go. If that's the one you want. Dad has just found 
oh, his part of the hall. Yeah. He's found a rug. I've needed a little rug for my stream room because... Your chair is loud and noisy. Yeah, my ch my chair, well, as, it, as my chair rolls across like the floor and stuff, it makes a lot of noise. So, I saw this and I thought, oh, that's a nice colour. So, I had a look at the price, expecting to be like 30, 40 quid. Turns out, look at that for a bargain. Third, oh, it's, it's upside down a bit. An entire, oh, it's not focusing. 13. An entire 13 pounds. And be perfect for fro Look at him, he's so he matches. Perched. It goes with his he, eyes. His eyes? Right. Like, it's so, like, like it's, the, it's the cream look. He's got an excellent bone structure, doesn't he? It's an exoskeleton. <laughs> Are you happy with your, your, your purchase? Yeah, so Well, far. your purchase to well, be? So far. He's only 6 so that's a bargain. You're it's doing a bargain. Well froze, done. Froze is amazing. I have just spotted this Halloween gonk hello and he's all like purpley and I was going to say beardy but that's not a word but that is very nice I like it what have you found? oh no I said hairy is hairy is a word but yeah this is Froge right now yeah he's just perched he's just waiting for us to find something so Sorry. <laughs> they have some very nice wreck in the shop. Some, Somebody call the police. Some very nice Mickey the Mouse pillows. And this is £20, but it's very soft. I and mean, I could feel like. Is it squishy? Oh, he's, he's dusty. Never mind. <laughs> but he's very cute. I don't, I don't think Froge approves. Do you approve Froge? No. Okay. Yeah, there's some more Halloween stuff over here too. That's a pretty cool one. It says trick or treat on it. Some more Halloween y themed. Oh, hello there. Hello, would you like to come this way? Because I found a cool belt and shit. Wow. Froge. I was wondering if making this entire time. But, like, I know it's a skeleton, so this is a bit. Obvious, but it kind of reminds me of the Day of the Dead. You know? Yeah. The Santos Murdos. Probably butchered that. But. <laughs> it doesn't look really like that. But it's a nice pillow, no? It's a nice pillow, yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. And there's also another Mickey one. That Froze does not approve of Mickey. So. No. Are we done in Rafa? Or are we gonna. Oh. No, we're not even in Matalan. Of course we're done in Matalan. Yeah, we're done in Matalan. Are we done in TK Maxx? Or are it's we gonna to wander this way? What do you want to do? What do you want to do, boss? We'll go to the next shop. Grab How's a coffee? It? Yeah. Well, not for you. Not for me. A frappe for you. Yes. Let's go get froze. Another coffee. Did you enjoy your haul? I did enjoy it. Well, I haven't done my haul yet. I've done my shop. Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy your shop? I did enjoy my shop. What did you get from Costa? Um, maple ice frappe, I think it's called. Iced coffee. It's a maple ice latte. Latte, that's it. Yeah. And I got a salted caramel frappe with no coffee, because I don't like coffee. There's something wrong with it. Chin chin. Back to you guys in the studio. Hello, so I'm back from my shopping trip now. And as you can see behind me, we have a lot of bags and there's a lot more over here that um, we bought when we went out. However, we did order some stuff online, which has also arrived. So I'll go through that with you guys too. Um, so I presume I'll just start with this bag behind me. So this is obviously a TK Maxx bag and HomeSense. So when we went in there earlier, we bought some little decorations for our shelves. It is taped up, but there's some lovely autumn flowers. Both of them are the same, so I'll only open one. And it just has a nice burnt orange glass vase. There's nothing inside of it, just some sticks, I guess. Um, and some lovely autumn flowers just to put on a shelf. So we bought two of them, which is this, is the second one. And then my dad also 
I'll show it because we bought it. But we also bought a skeleton frog. And you might be thinking, that's not very autumnal. And I would agree. But he liked it, so we bought it. Um, this is Frog, the frog. He's a skeleton frog with a very nice rib cage. I don't personally like frogs, but he's kind of cute. So I allowed him to buy this one with his own money. Um, so that's all we bought from TK Maxx. However, previously, when we've gone yesterday and um, online, we picked up this nice, like, concrete effect vase with some fake grass and some nice orange flowers, also for shelf decoration. And we also picked up one of these, where it had a long vase, like the concrete vase, and it was just a lighter colour glass. So that's what we got from TK Maxx. And then in this Matalan bag, we bought a very nice jar for some for the kitchen. So this is a, a glass pumpkin jar. The lid comes off. I can't actually show you because it plas it's stuck on. But the lid comes off and we were thinking of putting this on the kitchen shelf with like some sugar or like coffee pods inside of it for some nice decoration in the kitchen. And then we also, you can't go cozy autumn shopping without picking up a mug. And for that fact, a coaster. So this coaster is uh, kind of like a teal. Uh, it's just got a K on there for Kira. And then bees, as you will grow to know, grow to know, grow to learn, are uh, my like favorite animal other than dogs. So this is a sage, sagey green mug with a bee on it that says, just be you. And it's got a nice yellow handle. So this is for my desk and it's just a nice little cup for my teas and my hot chocolates. Anything else? No, nothing else in me. That's decoration. We're moving on to next now and there's, you'll see in a minute, but there is like a lot of next. But we ordered this, which we've already opened, which was a pumpkin reed diffuser. It came with a scent already, but we changed the scent to our favourite one from Village Wax Melts and it's the raspberry and peppercorn scent and it smells really good but we love the pumpkin, it's kind of like leaves melted down into a pumpkin shape and it's very nice if I just cut this bag open uh, so this was a next delivery that we picked up I honestly can't remember what's inside but it says fragile, so that's, that's a sign that it's probably a piece of china of sorts. So if we unwrap all of this. So there's a lot of packaging. Oh, I know what this is. So this was this was, this is a pumpkin little like dish and it's a spoon rest for the kitchen for some decoration. It was eight pounds but it's a lovely colour and it's got some like white detailing on the back and it's just overall really nice and a good, it's going to be a good addition to the kitchen downstairs. Um, also, ah, also from Next. Yeah, from next, I completely blanked then, um, was this, it's a two set of mushrooms, the other one is downstairs and it's like a dark brown, kind of like the, this, the bottom of this vase, va English, vase, and that's the other colour, but it came in a set of two and it's like a concrete bottom and a nice, like, nice sounding top, so we really liked them as a set, so we picked them up, oh, let me just pull out there, and also from next was this cute little acorn candle it's kind of like a, a blush dusty pink on the bottom and it's got a nice wooden detailed lid and it's just very nice and it kind of smells nice too 
I can't describe the smell, but it smells nice. It, it smells fresh. That's pretty much all I can say about it. Moving on to the next, next bag. So we have this big bag here, a little one and two other ones over there. Oh! Right, so if I just rip this, this is a hand towel for the kitchen because we're forever wiping our hands in the tea towels and making the tea towels dirtier than they are from cleaning the um, surfaces. So this is a pumpkin like hand towel and it's really soft. It's really nice. And this was eight pounds. So the same as this little dish, but this is a nice big, like, it's, it's, this is gonna sound really stupid to me, but it's a nice like drying material and it's got some lovely colors on it. So that's, that was a good find. Um, Oh, we've, we've got a box. I like a box. So, let me just scissor these. Be careful when using scissors because I'm not careful when I use scissors. I try, but I somehow end up still to be useless using them. So, if I just open this. In here, I believe, it's a wooden board, like, sign, to stand up in the kitchen to match a coaster set we also bought. Yeah, it is. So, it's either, like, so this is what it looks like. It's a nice three stack of wooden pumpkins. It's got some rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't move. And it just says, hello, pumpkin. It can be wiped clean with, like, antibac. You're not meant to wash it. Um, like in a dishwasher, just like hand soap or with a wet wipe and you can either lie it down like this and like place like mugs or something on it or you can stand it up like this for like a nice piece of decoration so that's really nice and then in this big mess back we have one more thing which I'll open now give me two seconds I didn't start myself So, if I just pull this out, goodness me, sorry, it's heavy. So this is, I'll open it out of the box in a second, but this is a pumpkin set of two side plates for the kitchen. A lot of this stuff seems to be for the kitchen. Oh, they're quite big. I thought they'd be a lot smaller than this, to be honest. So, it's like... I'll show you in a minute, but we've got like some teapots. Um, there's the same colour as this, but it's like a nice cream and it's got some dark like speckles of paint in the design. And it just says low pumpkin and it's the speckles are like this colour. So there's two in there. And I think that's a really nice like item. Um I will now show you a big delivery that we've already opened out of the bag but I brought it all back up to show you because it's a big box full of very nice things you can probably hear. So we'll start off with this full pack of coasters. I'll try and move this string. Um, so it comes in a nice like wooden stand and they four wooden coasters that say Hello Pumpkin to match the board that I showed you just now. So they're really nice and they're quite like thick. All of them come with rubber feet and they're like, it's going to be very hard to move. So they're very good, especially when you've got dogs running around the place. So this, where I'll show you next, is matching the Hello Pumpkin side plates I just showed you. This is a teapot, well not any teapot, a pumpkin teapot. Uh, it's quite spacious. The lid has like a, a locking mechanism, which I clearly do not know how to use. There we go. And um, it's just very nice. It's quite light, 
Um, but I love how all the colour scheme like matches with the speckles of paint. So I thought that was a really nice buy. Um, and to match that, we have the two of these like little oven bake dishes for like mini like for example apple crumbles like mini desserts mini like treacle tarts not treacle tarts yep treacle tarts that's the word or they can just be used as like a little trinkety dish like put some sugar cubes in there or like just just some decoration on the shelf really so that's really nice um i'm going to show you one more thing before i show you my favorite item i think we've bought so to go along with our tea set and all of our coasters we bought some nice big mugs so we have three of these but two of them are in the wash and um, it's a lovely um color like the speckles on the teapot and it's got some pump white pumpkin that's like almost etched into them um it's a very deep mug and it's like a it's a good size mug and on the inside all the way around i don't think you'll be able to see so i'll come closer it says like hello pumpkin all the way around the top and I think that's very nice so my favorite item it starts off with this little tray okay and it's got some like gold yellow edging two circles and it says hello pumpkin again and then it's, it's a dish for some salt and pepper shakers okay so we have a baby little pumpkin pepper shaker and a squash salt shaker and they both just sit on this they've both got some like rubber on the bottom to refill it but it just sits like this and it just has the hello pumpkin and it, it's just it's really cute and i think that's why i like it like no other reason it's just cute and i absolutely adore it uh this is yet yeah, another next bag that we'll quickly open who knows what inside This is going to be nice. So, I believe the little ramekin I showed you, there's like an oven dish. I believe this is an orange version of that to match the colour of the short salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, I was right. So, if I just get that. It's a nice, just little um, burnt orange colour with a brown stalk. And it's just a little oven, baby like oven ramekin. And that's really cute. And that's all that was in that bag. We're going through these well. We've only got two next bags left out of about the five that we have. Another box. Oh, this is another ramekin. I think we like ramekins in this house, to be honest. Um, this is a yellow ramekin. I don't know if I'm going to like this one, but it was a part of the set. And ooh, oh, that reminds me of like a, a yellow bell pepper, you know? Let me rip this off because you won't know unless you see it. Like one of those really ripe yellow bell peppers. That's what that reminds me of. It looks very like yellow on the camera, but it's actually quite a nice mustard uh, colour and I really like that to go with the ramekin set. Only one next bag left. Oh, I got a rich to them, isn't it? What could possibly be inside? Another box. Ah, right, so I'm not going to open this one because this is a second version to this orange ramekin. So because we've got two of these ones, we also bought two orange ones. So this is just another version of this. And now we've just got a couple of bits from Asda's home. Uh, uh, I was gonna say Halloween then, autumn range. Um, so my mum, for her, her job, she designs baby knitting patterns and knitting is one of her favourite things. So we saw these in Asda 
and we just had to get them. So what it is, there's obviously two pumpkins. One's like a light one and a burnt orange. And if you can see, they're like knitting pattern on the pumpkins. Don't ask me to name what type of knitting pattern there is, like what stitch, because I couldn't tell you. But they're knitting pumpkins. And then also from Asda, we've got two of these. Brace a lovely little acorn candle. It's really nice. It's like a light grey and then a brown on the bottom. A light grey and then a brown on the top. And this one, this is going to sound really weird. But it smells how bright, uh, not bright. Not, not bread, what? Banana bread, that's the one. How banana bread tastes, like it tastes warm. It, it, I haven't had the candle. It smells warm and if it'd be like soft and melty. And I know that sounds weird because a candle melts. But it's a really nice candle and it just reminds me of banana bread and I could not tell you why. I believe we have one item left, which is also from Asda and it's some more pumpkins. If I just, can I open it? Yes, I can. So these are two Scandinavian inspired pumpkin designed pumpkins. They're both exactly the same colour and design, so I'll only show you one. But it's like a very, so I'd say this is like normal orange and then this is like burnt orange. Almost going more towards like a reddish. But it's just a nice red pumpkin and it's just got some Scandinavian like details on it and that is like very simplistic but it's really effective so apart from one thing which you saw in the little like shopping trip we had was a rug that we bought for my dad's dream room that is everything all to me and as halloweeny as froge the frog that we have bought within like the past day day or so and we've come out with a really good haul and our like shelves in the living room and the kitchen they're gonna look fantastic in my opinion that's our haul like done and dusted i hope you enjoyed my very first video on this channel hopefully there'll be many more to come and i've really enjoyed filming this like little shop with me and then you have a haul after I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I'll see you guys next time.